Welcome to Excel Magic number 488. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic 484 to 489. Hey, we got a great trick here, VLOOKUP but we have two lookup values. Here's our table, right? We want to we have this data set, team name, player and position. Here's a variable team1 and down here is another variable third base. How can we use a lookup that says go look up team1 in this column and third base in this column and give me that name? Well, there's lots of ways to do this, but one simple way Right, so what we want here is we want that, Clayton Mains, right? And so first base right there, we'd want this Ted um, Bartow. Uh, lots of ways to do this, but one um, real s straightforward, simple way is to add a separate column. Because in essence, the problem is with lookup, when you have duplicates, we have lots of duplicates, right? Well, if we can add a separate column and join team one with uh, first base. Now as long as there's no team one first base duplicates, which there aren't in this set, once you have duplicates that you can't you can't somehow create a unique a column with a unique identifier, then you have to switch to you know a big array formula and and return multiple items for each first base team one. But that's not this case. Uh, so we're going to create this separate new column, and I'm going to call this unique. Just unique is fine. I'm actually going to highlight this whole column here, control shift down arrow, control shift down arrow, and I'm going to go to home and get that uh, format painter. Boop, that copy is just formatted, and I'm going to click in so that whole column is uh, now formatted like that. I'm going to go up here and add some just so we're consistent, I'm adding some fill. So all, all the spreadsheets I do usually have that color for where formulas are. Uh, and this data, this helps here. I would do this also because this is raw data. This is a formula. Here's how you create a unique identifier. Equals, equal sign, and then you click on this uh, cell right here. And ampersand, which is shift seven, to join. That means we'll get two separate things from those two cells. They will be joined together. They're both relative cell references. So when I control enter and double click and send it down, now we have a double click here too. Now we have a unique identifier. Uh, and now we can just use VLOOKUP or whatever lookup function you want. You can see down here for team one, Oh yeah, team one third base, there it is, team one thir third base. Now if this is confusing, which it is sometime, why don't we add a dash here? So here we're joining two things, one, two, but we want a third thing, ampersand in quotes dash end double quotes ampersand. Now we're joining three things, so boom, two ampersands, sands. Control enter, double click and send it down. All right, so that's a little bit easier to understand. Now, when we do VLOOKUP, we're going to have to simulate uh, this. So don't forget all that little um, ampersand for join and in quotes the dash. Now, simply, this is a table with two variables. There's some variables there and there. Equals VLOOKUP. Um, let's see first, before we do VLOOKUP, uh, we're going to use mixed cell references here. Let's just see if we can get the, that part of the VLOOKUP. Uh, which means at any intersection I want to show team three and um, whatever the column header and the row header is. Well, I'll simply select that and I'm going to use my F4 key. I'm going to F4 it once and twice. This needs to be locked going down across the rows. Um, so it's locked on team, but when it goes over to here, that G will move to an H. So dollar sign and only in front of the row reference. Ampersand, and then we want to do our double quotes no space, dash, double quotes, ampersand, and then this one. Now this one we need to hit F4 one, two, three times. Column is locked, so when we go across the columns it's locked on the F column, but when we move down it moves to the next particular player position. Control enter, double click and send it down, and then you can uh, copy it all the way over. Now I'm going to expand the columns just a little bit. And to see that that mixed cell reference work, of course, you could come over here and hit F2 and see, sure enough, that worked just fine. Actually, watch this. I'm going to highlight this because I want to see this on the screen. And I'm going to hit Alt-WG. 
I don't remember what it is in earlier versions, that uh, zoom the screen to selection. Now watch this. I'm going to highlight this, the whole range, and I'm going to edit this formula, conscious of the fact that that's the active cell when I hit F2. That is going to be our uh, lookup value. So I'm going to uh, click right after the e equal sign and type VL tab in 2007 and 10, or VLOOKUP open parentheses, that's the lookup value. We come over here, comma, the table array. Ah, we have to scroll over here. There's our first column. I highlight the uh, first row there without the field names. Control Shift down arrow, F4 to lock it in all directions. That's our table array. The This value will uh, look through the first column when it finds a match, then it will go over to the third column here, one, two, three, and select that. So when I type comma, I typed a period instead, comma, now the column index, it's going to be the third, because the um, thing we're returning is from the third column, comma, and do we want tr um, exact match or approximate? We want exact match here. I'm typing a zero, not false, zero close parentheses. Now, I've edited this formula. I want to repopulate all of the cells, so I hold Control and tap Enter. Now, what in the world is going on there? We have some NA. Let's hit, uh, let's go down here, say, and hit F2. Yeah, look at that. Um, it's got the wrong table, so I'm going to hit Escape, highlight the whole range, and I'm going to edit it right there, F2. Oh, when I hit F2 earlier, I'm F4, I must not have uh, done it correctly. Let's highlight that because it's not the right table and get the right table. I'm going to scroll over, click in the uh, top row there. Let's try this again, Control Shift down arrow, and then F4 to lock it in all directions. There we go. Nothing like uh, an error and being able to edit it. Now, we've uh, have the correct formula, so to populate all the cells, I hold Control and tap Enter. Ah, but there's an NA because some of the positions are uh, not filled. I'm going to click down here and hit the F2, um, F2 key to edit. It's got the right, I'm looking all over here, it looks, it's got all the right uh, Team 1 second base. Team 1 second base. So we got a, a Let's right click. We're going to sort this. I'm going to right click this. The only reason why we can sort it is because we have our uh, field names at the top, records are in rows, there's no blanks anywhere. So I'm going to right click uh, the field I want to sort, right click sort. In earlier versions, you have to find the A to Z button on the uh, toolbar. Okay, and is there a Team 1 second base? Team 1 second base. There sure is, so there is a problem here. Team one, second base. Um, let's uh, look here because it it says it here. I um, I don't see a space there. I'm checking for spaces or something like that. I don't see that problem either. Okay, let's do this. Let's click in this cell and let's uh, run formula evaluator because I have no idea what's causing that NA. We go to formula, define, uh, formula auditing, evaluate formula. The keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is Alt T U F. I always remember it because it's tough. Alt tough. I'm going to click evaluate, evaluate, evaluate. Evaluate. It looks like I don't see any spaces. Then I'm going to click uh, Team Two. Oh, it's Team Two Second Base. Alt T U F. Let's go check if there's an Team Two Second Base. There sure is. Let's scroll over here. Alt T U F. And so it says it's not available. Um, and we have the right table. And it's looking at the first. So it's probably, let's see, no, I'm checking for spaces there, or maybe I have an extra. There's the space. There's the space. I knew it was somewhere because uh, we couldn't see it. So watch this. I want to get rid of that space. Boy, is that tricky. Backspace. 
and when I hit enter, it uh, returns everything. So that was a good lesson in how to track down a problem. Uh, first, we sorted and visually saw was there a uh, team one second base? There was. Was there a team two second? There was. So we t uh, and we checked for spaces here, right? Uh, and then we ran formula evaluator. Uh, and when that gave us an NA, then it wasn't bad data over there. So then we looked at some bad, some data here, and sure enough, there was a space. That one, team four, first base. Team four, team four. There is no team four, first base. So that should be that should be given an NA. Now, if you wanted to get rid of that NA. Um, you could leave it like that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hit F2. In um, 2003 and earlier, you'd have to copy that and then type if and then is error. Not if error, is error. Uh, this one right here. You say, is that an error? And you have to put that whole formula in parentheses, right? So if, and then this is an is error that delivers a true or false, so then comma, the value if true, well, we're going to put a blank because that is an error, comma, otherwise the value of false, and then you have to paste that. So the bad thing about earlier versions is you, you had to list the formula twice, and it had to calculate twice. I'm going to populate all of this, Control Enter. I'm going to use this little uh, format painter and come down. Ooh, that won't work. Uh, so I'll just show you in uh, t Control Z, Z, Control Y is redo. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix it in 2007 and 10. If error, if error. So you only have to list it once. It only gets calculated once, which helps with big spreadsheets. Comma, and if that is an error, what do you want to put? Double quote. Control Enter, double click and oh, I forgot to highlight everything and uh, populate it with Control Enter. But sure enough, now that works. Boy, that was a lot of stuff in this video, but um, lots of good stuff, hopefully. All right, we'll see you next video.